Good morning, this is Keith All, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a transparent blur effect in Photoshop. So as you can see on this image, which we're going to reproduce, we're going to have a section of this image where uh, it's going to be blurred. So you could uh, see through uh, to the image, and then, of course, we're going to add some text. So let's see how we could do this. So let's go over to the image and we're going to unlock it by clicking on the lock icon. I'm working on a PC. So let's now right click on this layer and let's create a smart object out of it. Okay, now we're going to duplicate this layer. We're going to press Control J on a PC to duplicate it. And now we're going to blur this picture here. So we're going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I already set it at 70 pixels. You can adjust the uh, blur yourself by using this uh, scroll here. And as you can see, it changes the, uh, the amount of blur that you want. So let's change it back to 70 click OK okay now we got that now what we want to do is we want to create a section on this image that we're gonna only blur and the rest of the image will be in clear focus so let's select the bottom layer and let's go over here and let's create a rectangle Just like that and now what we want to do is we want to uh, create a group uh, for this rectangle so we're going to press control G and that makes a group for that rectangle and of course too when you create a, a rectangle make sure your foreground color is black um, when you initially create the uh, rectangle as you can see on this uh, uh, on this rectangle if I do that you can see that when I created a rectangle the rectangle fill was filled with the color black so let's uh, make this visible again so what we want to do now next is we want to be able to take this copy here which is the blurred image and we want to clip it to this rectangle here so when, when we select that layer let's do a right click and create a clipping mask and what that does is it clips that portion to this rectangle here and that's why you you see this rectangle effect this area is just blurred and not the rest of the picture but if you want to move this rectangle, let's select the group layer, okay? And let's uh, select the move tool. And now let's select or hold down the control key and click and drag. And as you can see, you can move that rectangle around. Let's and you could readjust to wherever you want to uh, move that rectangle area, which is the clipping portion of it. So our last step that we need to take is uh, let's add a text layer. So highlight the top layer and then select your text tool. And then uh, select whatever font that you want, whatever size that you want. And I'm just going to type the uh, blur like we did on the original image and now let's uh, select control T for transform and I'm holding down the shift and alt key as I drag out let me uh, resume this in here Shift, Alt, and then drag out. Let 
And I'll press enter to apply that. And now let's add another effect. Uh, let's add a, a drop shadow. And there we go. You can play around with the settings on whatever effect that you want. But this is one way that you could create a transparent uh, effect in uh, Photoshop. Um, so hopefully this tutorial gave you some new, new skill sets for your current and future projects. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And click on that bell notification so you always get updated um, when a new video gets uploaded. And always please like, share, and comment because it helps out the community as well. So thank you for coming by today and supporting this channel. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.